Hey everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. And as you can see from the title of today's video, we are actually doing a hamster mail unboxing. I have never gotten a ham- actually, I think I got a hamster mailbox a couple of years ago when I had my first hamster, Haru. I do remember opening one of these, but it has been a long time since I've opened another one. I really, really enjoyed the other one that I opened. If you guys follow me on social media, um, a lot of animal, bad animal things have been happening lately. So I need just a break from doing like vlogs and everything and I figured I would just film this hamster mail unboxing to kind of get my mind off everything and just do a chill video for you guys. I'm currently filming like four different vlogs so those will be coming soon but I figured this unboxing would hold you over until some more exciting stuff comes along. I find the hamster mail to be pretty exciting but you know what I mean. This is just going to be a fun little unboxing and I do plan on actually doing another hamster video where I upgrade Elm's cage a little bit with some new stuff. So all the items that I show in this hamster mail unboxing will be shown in a future vlog where I do some changes to Miss Elm's little cage. If you guys are new here, I have a little hamster, little tiny hamster. I guess she's like a dwarf hamster. I don't really know. She was a rescue. I have a vlog on her if you guys would like to go see it, but she is a really calm hamster. She pretty much only comes out at night for me to give her some food. She runs in her wheel a little bit and she's made all these really intricate burrows and stuff in her cage and she's been interior decorating in there and she loves it. So I don't see her very often, but when she does come out, she's very sweet. The box came like this in some really, really pretty paper. I actually might reuse this paper. I think I'm gonna reuse this paper for my own shop. Okay, thank you, Hamster Mail, because I'm launching my shop tomorrow, so that'll be nice to reuse. But here is what it says. I really like this because it looks like a little like postcard. So it says Hamster Mail to a very special hamster and it's sendhamstermail.com. It says important delivery and it has a little stamp with a hamster on it, it's so cute. It is a subscription and you just sign up and you get stuff for your hamster sent to you, which is really awesome. I am not being paid to review this or anything. They just sent it to me and they asked me if I wanted to unbox it and I said, heck yeah. So yeah, I'm not getting paid to review this. I will have my honest reviews in here. I love the yellow, I love the color yellow. So it says, hip hip hooray, you've got hamster mail. So it opens up, and this is really thick paper. This I know this is like something like a, more of like a businessy person would notice, but like this paper is very thick. So there's a message from the hamster mail team. There is what is in the box. Oh my gosh, this is a little prop that you can cut out and you can use it to take a picture with your hamster for social media. That is really cute. And then the charity of the month is Huggling Hamster Haven. It is a rescue rehabilitation and rehoming center for hamsters in South Africa. So I believe every single month, some of their earnings go towards a charity each month, which is incredible. So I love that. Okay, let's see what's inside. Oh my gosh. <gasps> wow. Look at all the colors, guys. Wow, look at that. Oh my gosh, Elma's gonna love this. So I think this was their June box and it was like a tropical theme, which I love. So let's see what is in here. So first we have the Simply Nibbles Tropical Fruit Cushions. These are crunchy treats with a real fruit filling and added vitamins. So here's what they look like. Has that tropical vibe on the bag. They look like little like wheat thins. They look like wheat thins. So it says that these are for rabbits, gerbils, guinea pigs, mice, hamsters, and rats. And then we have some desert island popcorn. This is a complimentary feed for all hamsters and rodents. This tasty treat is a mixture of crunchy popcorn, yummy unsweetened banana, and a crinkling of tropical coconut. The perfect treat to keep your pet coming back for more. And this is the brand healthyhopper.com. Here is what the popcorn looks like and it also has like a little dried banana there. It just says the ingredients is popcorn, unsweetened banana, and coconut. Next we have a boredom breaker. This is the Rosewood Salsa Garland Boredom Breaker. Stimulating fun for rabbits, hamsters, and other small animals. So it's just like this paper material. This is such a good ASMR. And yeah, they can just like chew it. My guinea pigs would probably really like this. Um, I don't know if Elm would like this or not, but she doesn't typically like play with toys, but yeah, this is huge. So this would be really perfect for rabbits and 
guinea pigs and stuff too. It says it's made with pet safe materials, dyes, and glues. Oh, it's a little hat. Oh my God, it's a little hat. It says hamster male summer hat. This is not a toy, only used for photography props. So I don't think I would ever be able to get Elm still enough to place this little hat on her little head. But if you do have a hamster, this would be super cute. I don't ever recommend putting clothes on, especially rodents, because it makes them very uncomfortable and very stressed out. But I think that like little clothing items like bows and ribbons and hats that just set on top of their head are completely fine. I mean, it's not constricting them in any way. So this is really cute that they gave this little theme of like putting the hat on your hamster and then like taking a picture with this in the background. That's really, really cute. I don't think that I would be able to get a picture of Elm having this on because she literally barely even comes out of her little burrows. And the last thing in this box, which I saved for last because it seemed the most interesting, is a tropical hideaway coconut hide filled to the brim with yummy plantain, hibiscus flowers, and sunflower petals. And this is also by healthyhopper.com. So it's a coconut, like a literal coconut filled with forage. Look at that. And then they can use it as like a little hidey house, like in their cage. You could put it on its side as like a little hidey house and they can hide inside of it after the, all the forage is gone. This is so nice. I mean, this is huge too. This was the last elm like a month because she's so tiny and this coconut is huge. Okay. So in the box, we've got one, two, three, four, five items here, and they all fit the tropical theme very, very well. And they are all items that can definitely be used by a hamster. I'm gonna be honest, I would need to look up every individual like ingredient to make sure that they are actually all safe for hamsters. I don't doubt that they are, but you can't just blindly trust any company, even if they are catering towards certain animals. Pet stores cater towards certain animals and they have very toxic items that they sell to people. If you ever get any of these boxes for any animals, just make sure you do research yourself to make sure that the ingredients and everything are safe before you blindly give them to your animals. But I don't doubt that they aren't. Hamster Mill is a very, very popular company because they do make really great items for hamsters. So I don't doubt that they aren't great, but we have a lot of nice treats to try and like me, I have many different animals that aren't just hamsters. The fact that a lot of these items can be used for many different types of rodents and rabbits and guinea pigs and all of that stuff is really cool. But yeah, that was the box. I really, really liked it. And I really like that it has a theme. I love when boxes have a theme and they follow it. It just, it makes it so fun. So thank you so, so much Hamster Mail for sending me this box. And I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I know the video was super short, but like I said, I just wanted to get something out to you guys while I'm filming all of these really long, intricate vlogs to hold you guys over. I have a bunny vlog coming soon. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you probably should because I've already posted a picture of the new bunny. And then I keep you guys updated with so many things over on Instagram before they are over on YouTube. And I also do it on Patreon as well. I have a Patreon down below. If you guys would like early access content, you get access to my shop early and all of that fun stuff. So yeah, I promise more content is coming, but life has been crazy, crazy busy. And yeah, I hope you guys understand. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.